his career, those three, three parts of his career? Yeah, I mean, he would probably rank up there in terms of, of the growth. I mean, Evan Turner made some unbelievable growth uh, in, in his three years here, uh, just in terms uh, a lot like a Deshaun, different, but but a lot of similarities. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's why you do it. I mean, to, to, to see those kids do that and, and become better men, um, it, it makes this job a lot more rewarding. Ted, you had uh, talked yesterday that you guys have been getting called for a few more fouls lately than you were used to. Tonight, Wisconsin doesn't go to the foul line at all. What did you think of what you guys did defensively tonight? Yeah, I, I thought we were uh, much sounder uh, defensively, and you know they they chose to, to shoot a lot of threes. Um, but I, I thought our positioning was better. I thought uh, we we helped better. Sometimes we overhelped, which created some some open opportunities for them. But you know that was one thing that we had talked about is is trying to play harder without fouling. That it, I think you shot 63% in the second half against Wisconsin, which doesn't happen a yeah. lot. Uh, what changed from the first half to the second to allow you to be that efficient? Um, and I thought we were just more aggressive in, in terms of our pace of our offense, uh, the the flow of the offense. We, we were just... I don't know, a little bit more aggressive. That was one of the things we talked about at halftime. Not that, you know, like, hey, we're going to race it up and shoot it real quick or anything like that, but just having more of a of a, a, a pace to us. And, and you know, I thought we, we did a good job of getting open shots, too. Coach, why did it take you a half to get settled in and, and get that tempo that you wanted to get in that second half? Well, I, I think you got to give them credit. I mean, you know, they're as, as, as good defensively as, as we've played against probably this year is just in, in terms of how they do it and what they do. Um, you know, we, I think we started one for nine <coughs> and, um, you know, I, I, a couple of times just told the guys, Hey, we gotta, we gotta make some shots. We gotta, we gotta make this thing happen. And sure enough, we were able to do that. I thought, you know, the, the stretch, I think we were down 24, 17 or something there in the first half and we got got to the rim DT got fouled on the three um, you know that was a, a big momentum swing for us the, the game was going along just kind of like typical Wisconsin game and and you score 50 you had that 15-0 run and Deshaun has 10 of them I mean he's all of a sudden he's in his zone and he's he's doing all the things he does is that is that a indication of how good he is that he can take a game like this and suddenly kind of break out that way yeah I, I think so I, I think that uh, I mean, I, I've used this word with him uh, a few times but you know just his, his efficiency offensively and you know a couple of those shots he, he had great leg drive I mean he was he was high on a shot um, he was exhausted the last five minutes of the game. I mean, we, we took the one time out and turned it into a full just to kind of rest our guys. Um, you know, is the first question we talk about is growth. Uh, you know, two years ago, he would just completely shut down on the defensive end and saved it for the offensive end. But I thought he, he kept defending down there. Um, but, yeah, that was, you know, how he got him was, was probably the biggest thing, just his uh, effective. He, he was more patient uh, tonight. Sometimes when, when he knows it's coming to him, he speeds up real fast, but tonight he was he, he slowed down and let it kind of happen. Um, on the 15-0 run, you also fast break points are hard to come by in this kind of game, and you got a couple. What was it? The defense that triggered it? Was it? Like yeah, I was saying Deshaun. What What do you think? Got yeah, you know, we got out and, and got a couple. Uh, you know, Q's three was huge. Amir got got the pick and roll dunk. You know, Shannon's and one there late was a. Uh, you know, he had a couple of big time steals and. Um, you know, I, I felt from that standpoint that was you know, we got a couple easy ones, which, as you know, are, are hard to get against them. Bob. Yeah, you mentioned the threes that they shot. Were you surprised that they took over 50% from three? You know, they do that to us uh, quite a bit. Um, you know, and it's like I told a guy, I know uh, uh, Berggren was two for 19 going in. I'm like, fellas, I'm telling you, I've seen this. Before he's he's going to make him against us, and you know the one banked in, and you know, um, but no, they, that's what they've they've attempted to do against us. Thad, in that 
during that 15-0 run, LaQuint was on the floor, obviously, and gave you guys some bump offensively, knocking down some shots. What does it do for his confidence and his growth? He continues to be a guy who kind of gets it, it looks like, offensively, to be on the floor in a key moment like that in a game like this. Well, hopefully it, it, it helps him from the standpoint of, of you know just being in there in, in uh, critical junctures of the game in terms of, um, you know, as he said, I, I – I don't know if I could have said it better. What he what he said. I mean, he's he he's listening. He's 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 getting some toughness about him, and and you know those are we need LaQuentin to, to continue at the at the pace he is uh, because he, he's definitely helping us. Thad has um, Deshaun also kind of transformed himself at the offensive end. He had four assists at times where he could easily have taken the ball to the hoop. Instead yeah, the, of the one, one he kicked to Aaron was. Uh, yeah. Yes, he's he's transformed himself in 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 that regard because uh, you know that was a a heck of an extra pass that he had off the set play. Um, luckily, they didn't run it quite the way I had drawn it up, and uh, it turned out good for us. You think this is the best game he's played here? Um, it's it's got to be right there, no question. I mean, I think his freshman year when he reeled off 14 straight. Um, and a game was was pretty good, but uh, yeah, well, you know what? W- without a doubt, this is probably you know right there at the top because of just his his overall uh, effectiveness of both offensively. I thought he was very good defensively as well. That did... Yeah, yeah. Well, he had the one that was whew, right there at the rim that went in and out. I was we were lucky on that one, but uh, yeah, I thought you know honestly he did a he did a heck of a job. That you talked about. Wisconsin's defense, and obviously, you know, we know they're a good defensive team. But did you feel like, with Deshaun sometimes and Aaron sometimes and Q sometimes, depending on the matchup, that they could win? You know, take guys one on one. It seemed like they they were able, depending, you know, yeah, the spacing <coughs> kind of thing. You found some ways to break them down. Yeah, and which is hard to do because you know they're so pack oriented, and um, you know, I, I I think from the standpoint of of you know, their, their positioning defensively is, is really, really good. And, you know, I, I, I don't know this for certain, but I'd say that we've never taken just five threes against a Wisconsin team the time I've been here. And, um, but, yeah, we, we were able to find some seams. Aaron, Aaron was tremendous in that regard uh, of, of getting inside the defense. Why do you think you only took five threes? Just because you were effective doing the other things? Yeah, I, I guess so. Yeah, I, I honestly, I don't know. I, did, I was shocked when I saw it. Yeah, it's going to kind of ask off of that looking at Deshaun's numbers I mean he only took one three takes 16 twos I mean at Michigan State I think he was six of ten behind the arc for him to have that kind of game was that something you guys worked on in film and talking no, to him about it just, that or? it just happened to be honest with you yeah it, it wasn't by design it looked like he was doing more posting or, or a few more things towards the basket did you did you like what you saw from that part of his game yeah I mean you know as, as the game unfolds we we Look and say, you know, we're, ch- <coughs> excuse me, charting and, and saying where, where are we most effective, and you know that's where it was tonight. Coach uh, Sam Thompson had a great game in the last game, and he really took a step back tonight. What are you going to be working on with him in the next couple of days? Um, yeah, I, I don't know if it, if it's anything different. Um, I, I thought Sam played great defense. You know, only took one shot, but they he didn't force anything. And and uh, you know, the, the greatest thing about Sam Thompson is all he cares about is winning. And I mean, he, there's nobody happier in our locker room than than him right now. And and that's what you love about him. Um, this 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 is a chess match between you and Bo. It'll he'll counter when you get up there next time. But did you the question you, you just answered about? Um, being able to attack them off the dribble. Did you find something going into this game that maybe hasn't been there in past years that you could exploit? Or? No, not really. Um, it, it, no. I mean, we didn't, you know, have like a, a drastic change saying we're going to. Sometimes we do that, but it was, it was. Why do you, think it, I, you know, I honestly I don't know. Um, you know, I don't want to divulge my secrets on this. Still, we, we do have to go back to Madison. I get, yeah, I, you can run with it how you please, but I know nothing. All right, guys, thanks.